Hi, I'm Howard Rodman. I'm president of the Writers Guild of America West and also chair of the 2017 Scripter Selection Committee. Curious what you would recommend to beginning writers on trying to publish their screenplays or protect their work. What are some of the first few things you recommend? Sure. The first thing I recommend to beginning writers is that the only way to absolutely guarantee that you will not have a career as a writer is to quit. Um, and so what I recommend to beginning writers is real simple, real basic, that you write every day in terms of getting your work out there in the world, even if you're shy or a shoegazer, you have to be aggressive on behalf of your work and get it into the hands of anyone who might conceivably read it, as painful and humiliating as that process is. In terms of protecting your work, you should absolutely copyright it, put the C in a circle, get the form from the US Copyright Office, you can do it online, it's really simple. And also register with the Writers Guild, um, the two give very complementary protections for work from new people. Okay. You were a writer as well, I'm assuming? You've, you've written screenplays? Okay. Um, can you talk about the first film that inspired you to want to write? No, I am a writer. See the calluses. <laughs> and um, there are so many films that inspired me to want to write that to uh, pick one would be, I think, crazy. But I do remember... Um, there's a scene at the end of an old film noir boxing movie called uh, Body and Soul, uh, I believe, uh, written by Abraham Lincoln Polanski, directed by Robert Rawson, and in it there's a boxer, a very proud, sort of first-generation, scrappy immigrant boxer, played by John Garfield, and the mob boss is offering him a lot of money not to win the fight, because all the money has been bet the other way. And John Garfield starts talking about his pride and his morals and the ethics of throwing a fight. And the mob boss turns to him and says, there's addition, there's subtraction. The rest is conversation. And I just thought, whoa, if I could like write one of those. And you know, I think for many of us, we start reading books and watching movies because somebody has built a world and that we can just hide in that world for a while. And then you realize at some point, oh, wait, I could build my own sort of purpose-built world that would really fit me. And so the transition from movie-going to reading to writing, I think for many of us, is just a slow descent into the pit. So the first screenplay that you wrote, did you have the similar sort of dream of that was going to be the first one and the one to put you on the map? You know how many new writers think that the first screenplay will open doors in the first draft, actually? I never had any thoughts like that. I, you know, spent well over a decade writing unpublishable novels before I transitioned to writing unproducible screenplays. So I was under no illusion. I just started having ideas that were movies that weren't quite books. And the first of those screenplays I wrote still has not been produced, but I've gotten tons and tons of work off of it. It's sort of like, of course we can't do this because this is too weird. But, you know, maybe you can do that. And so I don't think I ever really expected, frankly, that anything I wrote would ever get filmed. And when things I write do get filmed, it just strikes me as sort of like the bonus rounds in a pinball game. You know, it's sort of unexpected and really lovely. And lastly, just wrapping up here, because I know you have to go, and wondering, what do you see as the most common mistakes or some things that new writers should be wary of regarding formatting, uh, structure, things like that? I would tell beginning writers not to worry so much about formatting and structure. Uh, in terms of formatting, there are many really good screenwriting software programs, and some, some of them uh, you can get for free. And so let them worry about the formatting. In terms of the structure, I think the worst thing you can do is to say, oh my god, my first act didn't end on page 29, I'm a bad writer. If you find real living characters, if you're telling a story that only you could tell, or writing about a place of the world that you know better than anybody else, just let the story tell itself or let the characters tell the story, and the rest will fall into place. So just kind of get what, well, for lack of a better term, the vomit draft, excuse my, my crass uh, analogy, but get that out and then worry about all the other things later after several days. No, I wouldn't even say that. I would just say, you know, I used to work, uh, I was the editor-in-chief of my college newspaper, and there's a big sign in the newspaper office underneath this huge clock that had a, like a blood-red second hand, and the sign said, this is a daily, not a weekly. 
And whenever we were there past midnight, the managing editor would put up another sign that would say, don't get it right, get it written. And I would say the same thing to people starting out writing and to people who have been writing all their lives. I love it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.